In this video, I'm going to talk to you about some of the new scripting capabilities that we're building into Leadworks Engine. Now, this, uh, this program here is the interface for the beta version of our new editor, which is uh, very similar to Sandbox, but we're adding a lot of new functionality to it. So let me just uh, drag an object onto the 3D view here. And this is a windmill that uh, an artist created and I want to show you the new properties interface here and we can change the color of things let's make it green press the apply button and now you can see we have a green windmill and I can crank the intensity up here and make it really bright green but what's that's not really that amazing but what's neat about uh, this interface here is this is in controlled entirely by script uh, none of this is hard coded into the program so let me show you what I mean okay I'm gonna open up this uh, base class script here and this is a Lua file we're using the Lua script engine and uh, here you can see the different functions in the script. We've got this spawn function which is called when a new ins instance of an entity is created and then we have this uh, initialize dialog function which is what I want to show you. And you can see, let me, uh, let me go back here and click on this again so that you can see side by side here's the script that's creating uh, this dialog. We have general uh, general properties which creates this tab here. And then we've got the name, position, rotation, scale. And uh, you can see everything here in this uh, interface is created by script. And then we have this uh, set key function which will actually make make it so that when you change these values it will actually uh, do something to the entity instead of just uh, being a dumb value that doesn't do anything like we had in the original sandbox. Now let me set the uh, let me set let's fix the color here. Set that back to one. Okay, now if I right click on this windmill object, and I can open the uh, I can open the windmill script, and this will inherit all the uh, behavior from the base uh, script that we just saw and you can have of course multiple layers of inheritance and this just makes it so that I don't have to type out all those basic uh, parameters for every different uh, every different object so in this uh, in this script we can uh, program behavior that's specific to this object so first I want to I'm going to click on view object and this will just uh, open up this model in the Leadworks Engine model viewer. Okay, and so now we can get a better look at things. Okay, so the uh, windmill housing entity is this piece up here with this blade in back, and then a child of that is the blades entity. And this is called windmill blades uh, with an underscore, and that's just that's what I wanted to make sure of. So I'll close this. And now I'll go back to the windmill script, and I actually already have this written down. Um, I'm going to set this blades value to uh, what I find. I'm going to use find child to retrieve uh, that in, that child entity, and I'll just set the this blades value equal to that. And now I'm going to go down here to this uh, update function and this is called once every frame and if we want we can comment it out if this function isn't doing anything and then the engine won't even have to call it but we're actually going to use it here and we're going to say self dot blades turn 0 1 0 0 and now he here's a really cool part to update this behavior all I have to do is save this file you can edit this uh, script file in Notepad, in Notepad++, anything, it doesn't matter. I just save the file. 
and the editor detects the script and that the script has been saved and it reloads it automatically. So now we have our we have some uh, real behavior that we're programming and updating in real time. If we need to adjust something, we can just edit the script, save it, and we see the results insta instantly. Now I want to add a customized interface. So let me select this and open up the properties dialog. And I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Okay, I'll just uncomment these lines. Um, first I'm going, I'm going to add a new properties group uh, and I'll call this windmill and this will just create another tab over here in the properties dialog. And then I'm going to add this value that I'll call spin speed and uh, this uh, sets the range and a few other values and then over here this is the uh, display label which is uh, different from the value this just looks a little bit nicer and then this line will just make that uh, little tab automatically open so I just save the file and everything updates and now we have this uh, spin speed value that we can adjust Now when I press apply nothing happens because like I said everything is controlled by script so we need to actually program that behavior in ourselves and that's really easy to do we'll just go self dot entity get key and we called it spin speed so we'll just copy that and we'll give it a, de a default value of one and one more thing for Lua, I think we need to say to number. Okay, so let's save it. And let's adjust this and see if it works. Now it's going faster. Now it's going slowly. So that's how you create interaction uh, with the script and it allows the artist to adjust all these values and like I said nothing is predefined in the program so you've got complete control of it and we can create uh, multiple instances of this and we can use different values each time so we've got one going slowly and one going fast now just to provide another example, um, I've got another copy of the windmill script that I made a little bit more uh, complicated and uh, I want to show you what I made that do. So now we have a windmill that makes noises and shoots sheep out of it. and we can adjust the uh, the uh, sheep uh, shooting speed let's slow it down a little bit there we go So that's just an, a simple example of some of the crazy stuff you can do uh, with script and you can really make it do anything which is why it's so fun. And I think this will uh, lead to a new level of uh, interactivity and creativity with Leadworks Engine.